Hello ladies and gentlemen, geeks of all ages, how are you guys today? This is your friend Maricus Kevin bringing you another episode of Comics Consawa! Yeah buddy, how you guys are doing today? I hope you guys are doing fantastic, hope you guys are doing well. Oh yeah, hopefully you guys are doing great. This episode of Comics Consawa Oh, first, I want to apologize for the mess back there. Sorry, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, things happen. Um, yeah, today's episode of Comics Comes Out is very. I decided to go like a little for a few older books. Actually, graphic novels. Because I read like three or four graphic novels that I want to talk to you guys about. And today, I'm actually going to read one of my favorites from the Marvel Ultimate Universe. Yes, yes. And it's Ultimate 2, Grand Theft America, by the awesome creator, more or less, of the Ultimate Universe, Mr. Mark Miller, uh, I mean, Brian Hitch. Uh, which they were the ones that literally just gave birth to to the Ultimate Universe. And uh, Ultimate 2 Grand Theft America is one of my favorite all time I would say yeah, favorite all time comic book stories. It's very true to what things could happen if we do have super power beings only in America, more or less. And it touched a lot into political and with a lot of spiritual as well and a lot of drive because it really talks about a lot of drive. Um, I really, really enjoy the story, especially because one thing goes Hawkeye gets a lot of love from this. Because we actually get to see how badass Hawkeye truly is. Um, the whole story begins like this. Um, supposedly for War Stars a few years back. A few months or years back. Um, the Ultimate with, with a coalition of a suit of superpower beings from Great Britain. Mostly America. Uh, the Golden East. Uh, take the weapons of mass destruction from uh, the Islam Warlord. Uh, pretty much, that's what happens. Uh, the people that come around the town hall are right here, we call this weapons of mass destruction, you guys are free. But more or less, they feel like they're being pushed. You no, know, out of their area, out of the town, because this is their stuff. Whatever it is, it's their problem, this is stuff. So some of the people are like, oh, you know what, this is our mess, but why are they coming to fix our mess? We want to fix our mess, so whatever. Which is very political stuff, which is actually very interesting to stuff that actually happened when this book was, I think, written in 2005, 2006. And even today, it's really, really good. Really good, I'm telling you. Um, a few months, I think, to a year later, to current times now. And we see the rest of the world, especially like the enemies of America, they all come together and form their own version of the ultimate to go toe to toe against the ultimate. And, um, they have uh, Dynamo, which will be the counterpart of Iron Man to go toe to toe against them. They even have a Thor, which you know, they put all of this in the last note. That's where the first um, ultimate story, the first story. Um, everybody thought the Thor was yes, a creation of a um, hammer that was created by scientists and the bell the iron. Takes the ions from from the atmosphere through the hammer, through everything, and grants that person superpowers through the suit as well. So that was supposed to be how Thor is Thor. What? So I didn't want to make sure explain that. But then this one explains that. I'll tell you guys later. <laughs> so they have their own thought. They also have their own Captain America. 
which is, was um, the only survivor besides Bowser Sea Riders of uh, that procedure for him to become the Super Sword. But what I do like about this version of the Ultimate, or this version of how they explain things, is how it's multiple operations and uh, the combination of Zero or the Super Sword and the Steroid, which is actually very, very interesting. Because I always say, when I first read about Captain America, I'm like, wait, Captain was created because of Jews. He was created because of the Roids. And this, and Mr. Miller breaks this into time. I'm like, holy crap. So I was, you know, like a lot of people know about this. Um, they have that idea. I'm like, no, it's a Super Soul Reserve. But what's a Super Soul Reserve? Steroid. And that's what this explains. So I'm like, to me, it makes a lot more sense. And that's what I like about Mr. Miller. He, when he writes, he's really good. Um, I like a, I don't think it's a story or a character that he has written that I really don't like. Anyway, <laughs> going back to the story. So they decided to start attacking America. They go little by little to certain characters. First, they, um, they kill Hawkeye's uh, children and wife. They kidnap him because he has some of the codes for nuclear weapons and for like the invaders to attack America without the satellites being detected them. Stuff like that. Then um, Black Widow um, is actually an agent, even though it's just an agent, and, but she is a dog like in helping them because um, to get revenge for America and the Ultimates or whatever to take down Mother Russia. So, you know, it was very good. By this time, that she was about to get married to Iron Man already, for those of you that you were ready. So, it was brilliantly, brilliantly done. Brilliantly done. What's for now? Um, we also have they frame Captain America that he killed. Uh, oh, my, oh, that he, that that's right, that he killed um, Hawkeye and his family. He got he gets framed for that. Very smart, very well done. Um, Hank Pym, uh, he's no longer for the Ultimate Schools. He got got kicked out because he got caught uh, punch, punching the wasp. The wasp is dating Captain America now. So yeah. Um, so it's very, very interesting story. Very powerful. Very powerful. Especially with Hawkeye. Because right off the bat, like, we see like his family literally is getting murdered. Um, his wife and his kids. When he gets kicked up, one of the parts that I love when, when he gets kicked up, supposedly interrogating him after a few days, he already revealed all the calls and everything. Like he said, they're about to kill him. Uh, they tell them this grand plan that they have. Uh, the soldiers behind the, uh, the Russian um, leader, military leader, and the doctor doing the investigation, uh, doing you know that, uh, oh my God. the interrogation. They got soldiers in the background. Hawkeye out of nowhere, with his nails, he like takes him literally like, he goes clink clink clink. Soldiers start dropping down and like, he tells him, you should have taken my nails out. I'm like, holy crap. That's how crazy and bad as this boy is. With his nails, clink 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 clink. Amazing, phenomenal. He escapes, goes back to America, helps them out escape. Because they already captured Captain America, I think he, He's showing his capture, and the all entire plot starts to be revealed that it was all a setup from Loki. Yes, Loki. Asgard, Thor's half brother Loki. So then we find out that Thor is actually Thor. He's not a crazy guy. Um, that he wasn't utterly in a psych ward, and that he took the suit, the belt. And the hammer here became Thor. No, he is actually Thor. You know, like to me, great phenomenal because I love Ultimate Thor. So to me, I'm like, you know what? But even the other version would be awesome. But yeah, phenomenal anyway. So it is one heck of a battle because it really shows, like, like I said, like a coalition of nations against America created their own version of the Ultimates, the Hulk and everybody, to attack America get framed and then in this grand spectre spectacle battle huge 
ridiculous. And I was like, holy crap, this is phenomenal. Great artwork, great story. Um, Mr. Miller and Hinge created like a masterpiece to me. Because the ultimate is really good until Ultimate 3. Oof. Oof. That's another story. <laughs> But yeah, Ultimates 2 Grand Theft, of Amer Grand Theft of America is phenomenal. I believe it's a must read. Um, if you guys are not familiarized with the Ultimates, will be um, the more edgy contemporary version of the current universe. Uh, which is, I think, is great. Um, yes. But Ultimates 2 is uh, phenomenal. Grand Theft of America, I think, is a must read. It's one of my favorite books. Um, stories, uh, graphic novels, yeah. A mastery guys so thank you for allowing me this humble time to you guys and I thank you guys for the followings uh, for the new followers uh, for the questions I really appreciate it guys thanks for the love you know get back to you guys I respond to you guys to your questions I really thank you guys great um, also um, you guys will be able to see this episode where you ask I'm gonna tell you where at innercitygeeks.com oh yeah but innercitygeeks.com thanks to those guys. those guys those guys are great those guys are awesome you guys can watch this episode there uh, you guys can also watch it on my youtube page and you know you guys can follow me keep following me um, at blackadam001 on twitter oh yeah and um, if you would like to see more of the videos from yours truly you can subscribe to my youtube page Yeah, buddy. All right, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for the love. And I'll see you next time with another episode of Comics Consalor. Yeah, buddy. Peace.